Hello everyone. Um, this is a new thing I'm doing with Unreal Engine. I've been playing with Unreal for quite some time now. I was doing OpenSCAD tutorials, but I think I've sort of done almost everything that anybody could want there, I think. I don't know. Uh, I, I do plan on doing a few other things, but it's going to be very complex. But uh, in the meantime, I want to play with Unreal and do a few tutorials for this where there's a few things I think that are missing in a lot of other tutorials like uh, with placeable blocks um, there's also a lot of quality of life type stuff and a lot of old school features that are in other shoot 'em ups like shoot 'em up games that are either missing today or everybody tends to implement in very roundabout ways which should actually be quite simple um, one of the very first things that you find from the old days um, in a lot of old games the default for your mouse movement was you know your left right was fine and to look upwards you you pulled the mouse back but unfortunately these days th there's a, a bit of a trend for to look up you've got to push the mouse forward and for some people who are used to playing old shoot 'em up games like Quake 2 where the default uh, as I believe was to go the other way it's a bit jarring and you've got to find a setting and um, for those people who want to bring that into the Unreal Engine it's a very very simple way of doing it um, so to do that what you do is go into your first person character blueprint when it loads there we go um, so you go down to your pitch and your section and you find this this is the bit you want so you got your left and right so you you don't really want to screw around with that so we're going to need more space here so what we're going to do is we're going to pull this up here and we're going to bring this over here and what we're going to do is uh, very simply we're going to take this axis value we're going to hit asterisk on multiply stick it into the value and uh, we're going to minus one so everything that comes out of this this value here is going to be minus one and uh, just for the educational purpose I'm going to show you what it looks like because we're going to print it on the screen in fact let's let's print the raw value and that one so just to so raw value And then hold down shift to put an enter in there and then adjusted value so that's what we'll see we'll we'll see that pop up um, I'm just going to change this to 0 0.1 so that it doesn't keep scrolling down so uh, hit compile Probably should get in the habit of hitting save, compile, you know, in case we do something that makes it, you know, crash, which isn't difficult. Hit play. Wait for my quad core i5 to catch up.
Det. Let's give it a new editor window. There we go. All right. So we can see the values, see the initial value up there, raw value as we go up is a positive one. As we go down it's negative, but the adjusted value as we go up is negative, and the adjusted value as we go down. So basically all it does is just inverts the value so that you push it down, or you push the mouse forward and it drives it down. It's very similar to controls to a, how you fly an aeroplane. Um, in fact, in the early days, that's pretty much how it was modelled, and a lot of people used to play like this. It's it, it gives you a more natural feeling when you're um, when you're playing shoot 'em ups, and you, especially if you're used to them for a number of years. Um, but it is a it is a feature that's becoming a bit more. Um, uh, it, it's becoming less common, commonly put in as an option with some of the with some of these shoot 'em up games. Um, which is unfortunate because you've just got to get used to this idea of push up and it drives the mouse up. It's, yeah. So that's simple, easy. And all it is is just one, just that. You don't need to really put all this in. Just this bit. One simple multiplication. Um, you can do it through the project settings, but yeah. Uh, if you wanted to make this a option in a game, I'll show that later. Right. 